Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Like I promised, we we're going to continue to paint different skin tones. And today I bring to you from Kutan, Johnny from Dune. Okay. Beautiful sculpt. Let me capture the likeness very, very well. Did a nice job. Um, I had it ready for a couple weeks now. Because I've been working on trying to get different characters. Um, for painting, you know, different skin tones. Uh, she was one of them. Like I said, let's ease into doing these skin tones. So obviously we're only going to be doing the head. Because everything else is covered in... in and the suit and stuff. There's no other skin exposed. Um, so I took him out in the FDM printer, my new one, and it came out really nice, which I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be painting her. Uh, she's not very dark. Uh, she's more on the light side, but you know we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna paint her. I think it's gonna be a fun kid to get our feet wet. So we did an arm, obviously with uh, with the go um, with the bro shake kit that we just that I just painted, and you know that was just a little warm up. Here's another one that we're gonna be just doing the head, but I do have that we're gonna do more skin. There's gonna be more of a full figure too. Let me show it to you real quick. Uh, I do have a complaint about it though. Not the sculpt itself, but the way it was cut. And I'm going to bring this up when we start this um, this kit the next time. Because I've been working on it. And that's Ahura from, Star, from the new Star Trek movie series. Okay. And that's a lot of skin tone that we're going to be hitting on her. Which is going to be fun. The only problem I had with this kit was not the sculpt. The sculpt is a beautiful sculpt. All right, I got the hair. All right, and I've been cleaning up a lot of this stuff. Okay, and the boots and the base. Now this is gonna be the next one. And our in our series. Okay, doing different skin tones. And I might put this under my playlist as, you know, different skin tones. So that's why people can uh, go in there and find them a little bit easier. Um, we're going to be doing Asian. I have a samurai guy that we're going to be doing. But she's going to be the one after Chani. Okay, Uhura. This is nothing against the sculptor, which is Mega. Okay, I think he's an amazing sculptor. The base also came out, the FDM printer came out really good. I'm really happy with it. Okay. Now, Omega does an amazing job as far as sculpting goes. I love his sculpts. I love his uh, characters that he does. He does a very nice job. The only thing I don't like is how he cut them. This is not the first one. I don't know if he does his own cutting or he has somebody else do the cutting. Some people do have do that. I know that for fact out there that they don't do their own cutting of the when I say cutting it's how they cut the parts to fit into the figure okay like this is a good cut all right this fits perfectly in there all right when I mean cutting you could you could have cut this on the sleeves the arms you could print the arms separately not the whole thing had it come out and the way the head was cut Okay, you see how the head was cut right there in the neck? That's a lot of filling and a lot of sanding to do. It, it, the fit was pretty good, but you still want to hide those seam lines. And it was very tough to get in there. The other bad thing about that is it's right where the earrings were. I broke those earrings because I had to get in there and file. But thank goodness I, I wasn't happy with this print. And she has the earrings, and I might have to cut those off and glue them on here. 
All right, eventually. Once I'm done pretty much with everything because I don't want to keep on, they're very fragile. All right, and the cut got in the way of the earrings. Now, I don't think it would have been hard. I'm not a 3D sculptor. But to do the cut line on the on the on the neck line of the shirt, you know what I mean? I mean, I think that would have been a lot easier for everybody. The same thing goes for the legs. I got a lot. Of, I'm not going to be able to get a nice smooth finish on the legs in here underneath the skirt. He could have done it or along the panty line. And there would have been no filling or no, hardly any filling or anything like that. Now i got a lot of ugly looking, and I've been working on this every once, whenever I get a chance. Alright, I also had a failed print, that's my fault. You know, if you have a failed print, it's pretty much your fault. For the most part, because, you know, I'm not very good at, I'm not very versed on the 3D printing side, okay guys? I'm going to be totally honest about that. Right, I've been doing a lot of sanding and a lot of cleaning because I had a little layer shift on the arms. Luckily not on the dress. But the two middle fingers failed on me. And like I said, I had a failed print with the other one. So what I did is I cut the fingers on the other one and I pinned them. And I've been sanding and cleaning up where I pinned them to fix them. Alright. Beautiful kit. Don't get me wrong, like I said, Mega can sculpt the shit out of stuff, and he's an amazing sculptor. But just, I mean, you could have, you could have freaking cut the neck, you know? Could have cut the arms, could have cut the legs a little better. My opinion. Could have been done? Yes. You know, I spoke with people, and they said this could have been an easy, you know, an easy thing, but... I don't know why they made it so complicated for people, especially like, you know, people that are not, not good at doing seam lines or whatever, and they, you know, they want to paint a good kit. It's a beautiful kit. Could have been a hundred times better if the, and it's not the first one from him. And that's just a bitching session right there, guys. That's all it was. So I'll get that cleaned up, primed and ready for paint. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it right after her, right after Shiny, okay, because I'm trying to think, uh, change things, you know, you know, uh, keep things interesting in the channel, and I got a couple other kits that I really, really want to paint, and I really, really want to do, and to keep my interest in it, too, you know, as a, you know, as a painter, I want to, you know, but that one is definitely going to be coming up, okay. Uh, Ohura, which I think is a beautiful kit. I just really would like to try to get everything cleaned up and seamed as best as possible before we start painting. Okay, it's just a bitch of a bitch of a kit to try to do it. Okay, but it's getting there. I had a little bit of a fail here too, but I was able to fix it. It was a simple fix. I had a really bad tear going here, which was a really wide gap, and I was able to fill it in and re sculpt some of the stuff in. It came out pretty good. All right. But that was the only problem that I had with this kit. A Kutan, I got to give him to him. He does an amazing job when it comes to cutting the figure. Okay. I did glue the legs and the torso because there was a little bit of a gap. And I want to make sure before I painted anything that none of that gap showed. And I, I figured I'd just put it together. You know, fill the gap in. The gap was more a printing error by me because how the, you know, I had the, the supports on on the bottom of the torso and on the bottom on the bottom of the 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 waist. So it pulls, and you're gonna have sometimes those deviations, and you know, it's not gonna fit perfectly fine. So I had a sand fit a little bit of a gap no problem you know with that area right there I didn't have no issue I wanted to keep this intact the rest of it so that's why okay but the fit that Kutan does the way he cuts everything I never had a problem with his stuff see how he cuts his stuff where 
everything is hidden. You can actually paint these separate, glue it on, and there's no gaps showing. That's how you cut it. When possible. Sometimes when you have a full figure that has a lot of skin showing, a lot of times those cuts are going to be very difficult. And you're going to have to do seams and stuff like that for something like that. But for somebody who's clothed, I mean, perfect fit, no gap showing. You know, stuff practically fits in there where it's not going to come off. All right, there you go. Okay. And then the head. See how he did the head? Okay. Beautiful. Great job. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So I'm going to have to clean that little piece right there. I didn't see that. But I'm going to get to that before we start painting. Alright, but there you go right there. Beautiful kit. I love it. Did a beautiful job. You know? And the cut. The cut makes the kit, man. Look at that. There's no gapping that you have to fill or nothing. Which I'm very happy about that. I love when kids, you know, let me show you one another one for this series. But this one, this one that I'm going to show you is going to be uh, a little bit down the road, okay? This is a samurai that I want to do. I can't remember. This is Kutan too. All right. I can't remember. Uh, forgive me for the name. I don't want to look it up, but, you know, I just want to get going with this really quick. This just came out really nice. All right, the fabric texture on it, I love it. And the, this one look, feels like it's more linen. This is more textured. All right, beautiful kit, ready to go. But like I said, we're gonna be doing this one down the road a little bit, okay? So, they'll come down. And we'll work on that later on. All right, but you know, there's a little variety. I got a couple more in mind to print out. And some that I have that are casted ones that we can do. That should be a lot of fun. All right. But those will be coming down. Um, what I'm trying to do is, you know, just because there's different types of skin tones out there, not to be afraid to try to tackle them. Okay. You know, black skin tones, like a Mediterranean skin tone. Just look at your references and try to, you know, get those colors in there. You know, like Asian and things like that. And you can get to where you want to go as long as you get those base basic colors in and then you can work your highlights and your midtones to try to raise the the finish that you want okay so it's a, it's a little bit smaller kit than what I usually do um, but we should be able to be doing this pretty quick as far as the skin tone goes and that's how we're gonna get started today we're gonna do the skin all right, and then, you know, I got a little bit of a tight schedule today, so uh, we'll get back to this later on, and we'll keep on uh, working on the the suit, okay, and then the base, okay. Hopefully, it'll be, uh, it never goes quick in my channel, but hopefully, it'll be, it'll be a little bit quicker of a tutorial, all right, not so much in many parts and stuff, all right, so that's what I'm kind of hoping. So, let me get set up, and then I'll be back. All right, so let's get started with her. The, for, the base color for her skin tone is going to be Bosch Chestnut from uh, uh, Scales, Scale Color. Okay? It's from the Fantasy and Game line. It's a very nice base color for her. Now, she's not very dark. Um... Uh, So once we put the base down, we're going to have to mess around with what to see where you want to go as far as um, the highlights and the shadows and stuff. So, Alright, so uh, my usual recipe. All right. Okay, like I said, she's, she's not very dark. Okay. And, um, 
but we are going to put a, a nice dark layer because she portrays someone who's out in the desert. This recipe is, I learned it from uh, Brett Gowdy and uh, Ground Effective. So I want to give him credit, you know, he used the same piece of color for one of his kids. Uh, if I remember, I'll link that, I'll link that uh, video again down below. For some, for some of the other stuff, I'm going to approach it a little bit differently. So I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to clean my brush. And I'll be right back. All right, let's get into some tinting. Let me see if this camera angle changes a little bit. Right, that's more of the true color right there. The other one's coming in darker for some reason. I think it's because of the lighting on top over here. You can see that. That's the color right there. All right, the other one comes in a little bit darker. All right, so I'm gonna leave this one here for now, and then we'll switch up. All right. So we're going to start off with the yellow, and we have our sponges ready. So well, get my hand out of the way. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good angle or not, but let's try it. Now, let's switch over. Very blotchy, right? Okay. So, let that dry, seal, come back, we'll do the other colors, all right? All right, let's do the blue. Same thing, give it a good coverage. It's a real small kit, so uh, it won't take that long. If 
focus. Okay. Don't be worried if it looks a little ugly and blotchy and stuff. Remember, we do layers. Don't worry about that. dry. Soft onto the red. Let that dry. Very blotchy. Okay, it's okay. But, um, okay. a little blotchy. That's okay. But, uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, let it dry, seal it. We'll come back and we'll start working on other stuff. Okay. Alright, so I want to try uh, pastels, but I want to try this without adding any of the black and anything for the shadow. Let me see how that comes out. If not, I'll add a little black and it makes it like I did the last time with the arm. Just to get a little darker tone. But I'm going to try a couple things here. And this is a trial and error, guys, so bear with me a little bit, okay? So let's try this one. Let's play the color. Oh, it's tight. Burnt Sienna shade. Okay. So I just want to give it a try. See how the color comes out. Because I didn't go too dark on the skin. But I want to see if this shows up at all. And it doesn't. Alright. All right. It's uh it kinda of, kind of like blends in kind of the same. But I want to try something else before I move on. Bear with me. Oh, wait, I got a darker one here. I thought that was the darkest one I had. Yay. Alright, let's try. Let me tell you what it is before I go. This is Burnt Sienna Extra Dark. Just so you guys know, Pan Pastels. Pan Pastels. And that is a little better. I just want to give it a little bit of a mid-tone. Close this up real quick. Here, yeah, don't mix your brushes up. Keep your pastel brushes separate. Some color now. 
I'm not going to really use them all, but. Reddish flesh, which is natural flesh, is a little too light. All right. I think I'm going to go with base flesh from the Nocturna series from the Fairy Flesh set. All right, for a mid tone. Okay. See the difference? Base color, mid tone. Okay. And the mid tone is a spray over very lightly. Okay. So let's do this. A couple of drops of flow improver, a little bit of thinner. It's probably a little too much. Rope. Just gonna do a quick spray over. And then we're gonna go start throwing in highlights. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go in there with the pastels again later on. But we'll see how it comes out. All right, so that's good for now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to seal it, and I'm going to go sneeze again. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Okay, so the next color I think I want to go with is, uh, it's a l had a little bit of red uh, from the Nocturna series. Uh, man, I don't know why this thing was. There you go. Reddish flesh. This lens takes a little bit, I don't know, for some reason it's not focusing right when I want it. So I just added just a little bit of red. And you see there, I think the cheeks, a little bit on the neck, the brow, okay? All right, so I'm gonna seal that, let it dry, seal it, and then I'll come back and we'll start working on the highlights. All right, so I feel like she needs to be lightened up a little bit more, okay? This is where we're at right now. Quite a bit more. So what I want to do is uh, do another two highlights. Start off with the natural flesh. It's a little bit on the darker side than this one. This one's a lot lighter, tan flesh. But we're going with the natural flesh from uh, Lactorna, okay? For the first. I'm gonna do like a little spray over from, not the very top, but like more like in an angle, okay? You know, like the when I, you know, putting that reddish color in there really did the, the tr a little trick in there with the, a little bit of the blushing on the skin, just giving that skin a little life. Alright, so but I don't want to hide too much of that, so I'll try to 
Be careful where I spray this stuff down. That's real pretty. That's enough right there. Once I seal it, all melt together. So and there she is, right there. Get her better. Shadows are still there. Right. Color starting to pop. Now we're gonna do the last highlight from the very top. And see how that looks and if we have to go in there with pastels and touch things up we can do that all right which i am going to do a little bit kind of underneath the eyes and things like that but right now that right there the skin tone is looking very very nice all right, you can see all the little details and the skin tone variations and stuff all right, so let's let me let this dry, and then we'll come back and hit it again. All right, with another color. All right, uh, can flesh from the top. Do a highlight, okay? So go in like this, okay? Gonna look really nice. Once you paint the hair, the eyebrows, and all that stuff, it's gonna come all together. I think I still need a little pastel touch in there. All right, so let me let this dry, and I'll be right back. All right, let's rock and roll here. I'm gonna add a little tone on the in the eyes right here. I'll be painting probably those black. But. I'm just testing something out too. Just want to see how that. Right. Put a little blush in here. Right. Put a little bit in the lips. You know we're gonna paint them. Oh my God, those guys from my group are going crazy. getting ready to do the way of the dragon so after this I'm gonna be heading out to that so All right. so a little blood in her nose underneath try to blend all that together See how like I put a little blush underneath the cheeks just to bring it to life. Alright. Put a little bit in the eyes. One more thing. No, no, a little bit gentle.
give that whole kit just a little bit of life right there. Subtle touches. Of color. Once you do the eyebrows and then here, everything is all going to come together. Alright. There's a little bit on this eye right here. color nice tone really quick I'm going to spray over just very lightly with the tan flesh I still have some a little bit in the cup and the airbrush and I did that on purpose just in case I wanted to just just bring everything together Really, just gently from far away. I've got like almost a foot and a half. Just a quick spray over. That's it. That's it. Oh, she looks really pretty right there. Then once you put the hair, you paint the hair, you do the eyebrows, you paint the eyes and all that, and the lips, and you get everything done. Then you take another look at your kit, and you determine if you need to add any highlights or any shadows, or if you want to do a little more color, like put a little more blush or whatever. Okay, but you don't want to overdo it now in this stage. You want to wait. So this is it right here. I'm going to seal her. Okay, we're going to start working on, we can finish the rest of it tomorrow, right, tomorrow morning when I get up, early in the morning, on the weekends, I get up and, you know, I, you know, while I have my coffee in the morning, I, I usually paint a little bit, so we'll finish it, I'll try to finish her up then, okay, and then uh, after that, it's the suit, okay, but right now, as far as the skin, just leave it right there, don't go any further than that. You know, it's hard to determine right now without the, all the other stuff surrounding her. Like the color of the hair and the lips and the eyes. But I think we're at, we're at where we need to be right there. And I think she's looking real pretty and has a very nice skin tone. Alright, very pretty. I like it. Looking at the reference, I'm doing okay, you know. nice okay guys I'll see you later all right welcome back and now <clears throat> gonna keep on working at her uh, laying down color for hair and everything like that but I just I just want to touch up some of the skin first all right <clears throat> excuse me so one of the things that I was looking at uh, I got reference pictures here uh, let me pull this one up for you first, right there. All right, that's for a face, and, and that's for a suit. Okay, a bigger picture. Just got to get an idea where I want to go. All right, but for now we're going to use that one. All right. Um, Right, so that's where we are there with her a little bit okay now because of the lighting and everything obviously I'm seeing probably something else than what you guys are seeing all right but I really like where it's going I just think it needs to be warmed up a little bit a little bit more life and what I would like to try to do is add some of the Garage Kits US, the transparent flesh, okay? Uh, just a little bit. You know how I very lightly just spray this over 
just to bring some color back into the character. And I'm going to use a very little bit, very little spray over. Then if I have to go back, I'll go over with some pastels to line it up, but it's not going to be uh, very diluted over spray. Transparent. But this stuff is very potent. It gives, here, let me show you real quick. This stuff comes out like looks very it's kind of like a little you know it's like a stain to it you know a reddish transparent color kind of it's hard for me to describe but little trick I learned from Matt Morozik I don't remember what kit he was painting or what he was doing but he wanted to bring a little bit more of that color, that light color, the tannish color, back to one of his kits, and he did this, and it worked out. I tried it a couple of times, and it actually really worked very well. So this is this is about as light as I'm going to go right there. All right, that's about as much as I want, and you're going to probably hit this maybe once, depending where you want to go, where you see it. So you can get very carried away with this stuff, so you want to be very careful how much you spray over. Okay, and it's a very spray over. I'm doing it from about a foot and a half, all right? So that's all I want to do with this. I'll just give it a little bit of life. And I'm going to start in the back just to see how... See, you don't want to do it too much, all right? And step back and just wait. touch that's about it right there that's it I'm gonna try to get this top part right here so I'm gonna creep in a little bit I don't want to do too much there we go. I'm hitting up paper to make sure it's coming out right right there that's it that's it that's all I wanted to do. Let me show you. Alright, it just gave it a little bit of hint of that color. And that's that's pretty right there. Alright. Alright, so when I come back, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna seal it. When I come back, uh, let's start painting the hair. And that'll give us a good idea where we're at, all right? So I'm going to do a black just to do because I want to make sure that I get the... And then after that with the black, we're going to do highlight with a different little grayish, deep gray colors or something like that, all right? Be right back. So let's start painting the black. Uh, got a little reference picture up there. And I want to use it for her as best as I can. So let's see where this comes out.
you guys think? It's getting there. I really like the skin tone where it's at. I think she looks really pretty. Let's do the eyebrows. Any eyes? Black in the eyes. Okay. She does have a lot of eyeliner, dark eyes around the eyes and all that, so I'm going to go with black this time. Alright. The hair is coming out really good. We're going to lighten that up a little bit. Go with the black brown. And then if we have to go with more highlights with that, we'll do that. But I have to let this dry really good. It's, it's, uh, I put a lot of paint on there. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's kind of good. Alright. Alright. So, see when you put the color down how it like enhances the skin tone a little bit. So, so let this dry. We'll seal it and then we'll come back and we'll do the eyebrows and blacken the eyes. Maybe work on the lips a little bit. Alright, and then we'll see there if it needs a little more highlight or anything. Alright. I think we're going in the right direction right now with this. I think she's getting there. She's starting to look really good. Forgive me for the mess, but you know, we had uh, the way of the dragon last night. I still have a lot of the stuff that I did last yes, yesterday and I haven't cleaned up much. So what I want to do now is do the eyebrows, eyes, and maybe touch up a couple of things uh, with the black, okay? So, I got a little bit smaller brush this time to try to get in there and do a little bit of fine detail. I diluted the black a little bit more. I got a new little, see I got this whole thing is all dirty with all different colors from yesterday. Alright, so, um, what was I going to say? I think she's coming out really good. Alright, so what I want to do is... Uh, we'll do the eyebrows first. Yikes, I don't like that at all. Let's clean that up. Mm -mm -mm. Eh. Guys, and this is why you seal your kit, okay? Okay. After many tries, I went. I had to rely a little bit on the marker, and the reason why I used that because I had a hard time just getting the right shape. And with the with the paint, I had a hard time cleaning it off every time I messed up. With the marker, you can wipe it off really quick. It's just gonna take a little while to dry, so I gotta make sure I don't mess around with it, don't touch it. I'm okay and happy with where it is right now. If I go in and later on and touch up a little bit more, I'll do that, but after I seal it. Alright, so right now I just wanna let it dry, but I don't wanna let it hold me up. So I'm gonna touch up some of the areas that I need to touch up. Okay. And. That is that <laughs> all right so this marker these are good markers is a black liner Molotov 0.05 just in case if you want to know I'll put a link down below for it as you're interested it worked very good if you need to put the dot for the eyes you know to get you lined up 
those are great markers for that. Especially really small eyes. Yeah, I had the mic off this whole time. Doing the white. Uh, apologize for that. I have people coming up and down. The, the attic is above this floor. Me and my wife needed to get stuff out of there, so. There was a lot of noise going on, so I put the mute on. I apologize for that. So I'm putting the white in. You saw me mess up there. And I fixed it. But I apologize for not having the mic on. So I'm just doing the white in the eyes right now. Um, was there anything else that I did? No. But I really like where she's going. I don't know if you guys heard me talk about that. Um, um, you know, the skin tone and everything. She looks very, she's got beautiful skin. I am hoping I'm doing justice to, uh, to her. I'm trying to capture that skin tone. So now I'm just doing the whites, just trying to creep in, do a little bit of time. Uh, trying to keep that black around the outside of the eyes. And don't forget that you have to do the blue because of the spice. So I'm going to let that dry, okay, and then we'll seal it, and I'll be back. Alright, so let's do some eyes. Let's use, I'm going to use the decals. Decals. Now, if you're interested in getting these decals, uh, they're from Evolution X Studios. I will leave a link down below for his um, YouTube page and his Etsy page where he sells these, okay? So, uh, Frank is an amazing, you know, hobbyist and a painter and he has come up with these eyes which I think they're one of the best ones out there you know they don't break as easy as uh, as other ones but I'm using this row right here which is a blue and it's not so um, dark and it's not so bright because what I'm planning on doing is um, glazing over the eye after I'm done with the decal with the transparent blue and you know translucent blue in there and just putting a little bit more of the blue effect from the spice all right so um, I'm using these the smaller ones the two millimeters I believe these are okay and again if you guys are interested these are really good decals and uh, you know make your job easier with the eyes I already cut the as you can see it's real tiny it's right there all right I already cut that one out it's ready to go so, I mean, you've seen these on my videos before where I did these. Um, so, I got a little bit of water here. I'm going to put it in there, let it soak. And I can grab it. Okay. There she goes. And she's soaking. There we go. Let it soak for a little bit. I got Microsoft ready to go. Okay, but first we're gonna wet the eye that we're gonna put it in. All right. I kind of measured it out before I got on and cut it because I cut it off screen. You know, I got my cutting board over here on this side. All right, so let's put a little bit of, let's wet this really good. Okay, I already sealed it. 
wetness in there. Okay. And I am going to put my optivizers on real quick because it's smaller. I did the trimming and stuff already, so let me get a little more water in there. And I'll put a little bit of the microsome in there. See how this goes. This is about 30 seconds or so. You know, it should come out. I found it uh, a couple of the last times that I used this uh, using the brush actually works pretty good. Um, to getting it on the figure. Trying to grab it, it's so small. It's already coming out. I like to put it on the finger to do this sometimes, depending on the face, the shape. The key is it's trying not to wrinkle it. I'm going to get rid of that and just start moving things around. position that you want to look at. That's pretty good right there. It got turned around on me. Sometimes you gotta grab a Soft tip, so I like that. You guys can see that. Try to zoom in a little bit. Let's see for this, just for this part right here. Let's see how this works out. That's about as far as I can zoom. Okay. I'm gonna dab in some microsol so that the decal can start taking shape around the curve of the eye. Start like kind of like shrinking a little bit, of just bending. It'll set itself in there. All right. There you go. That's good. Kind of happy there. Still wet, so if I have to move it around a little bit, I'll do that. Let me get the other one. Put a little microsole in there. Just let it and let it sit for a little bit. Make sure that it grabs right. It looks like it's still a little. Just make sure that it goes in there. All right. okay, so I let that sit for a little while. Do his little magic, and then I'll be back. Alright, so I got a couple of these uh, clear blue. I got this Chimia 
clear blue X23. Alright, uh, I don't want to tilt it too much, but here. Uh, well you can see it on the side. Okay, tell me X23 clear blue. You want to try that. Just a little. little bit of that blue oh and I put a couple of drops of regular blue onto the eyes all right and did that all screen I had it uh, really close to my body so I didn't want to right. so just want to put a little bit of this stuff just to kind of like tint it. Still some of that white showing back there. There you go. And that tone is very nice. See that, guys? That's a very nice tone. All right. So this is it for a skin tone and the face work. I still got to do a little bit of the hair, but I want to brown. You know, while we're here, let's do that real quick. And I want to use like a black brown. Okay. Just to go over the hair a little bit. I'm using this brush for dry brushing. Right. Get most of it off. Just dry brush on the hair. right there boom uh, what I'm gonna do once this is clean I want to put a little pink on the bottom eyelid okay just a little pink in it right. so I'm gonna let that dry squirt it and that's it and then the next thing when I come back uh, next time I come back it's gonna be the suit I'm gonna start with the suit all right, so we're gonna jump into that, and uh, I already have ideas for it, for weathering and everything, and uh, and the base. All right, guys. So, see you then. Just a quick video uh, before I go to bed tonight. I want to do this. Just got done priming. Not priming, but a. Uh, oh, yeah. I put a layer of primer, black primer, over the gray primer. So I wanted to go with. This is a dark suit. So I wanted to go with a little black on it. <clears throat> yeah. 
end. I'm going to give it a little more shadows with different colors. Um, I'm going with a green, with a dark green gray. Uh, let me see if I can show you that real quick. Dark green gray by AK. All right, I'm going to hit the bottom. And then I'm going to go over with another dark color to kind of blend the shadows together and then I'm going to do the highlights and uh, all the other colors on top. I see a little tint of green on the suits. Maybe I'm saying something different but I don't like bluish greens like greens and stuff and you know grays obviously and stuff. It's a very dark suit and it's very dirty so it's hard to really tell exactly like the true color of it you know based on the I was looking at costumes and things like that and I saw a bunch of different ones but I think with the shadows I think when I go this way and try to see if I can come up with something that I'm kind of like picturing in my head so trial and error if it doesn't work out then I'll just spray over and just start over again but you know right, so I'm going to take this off from the I got it on blue tack right now so alright So I'm going to hit it from the bottom. And I just want to get color underneath. Alright. On the folds, on the boots. Like a little bit in the crevices. But this is going to be like kind of like a mid-tone, kind of, per se. not quite because I'm going over with a darker color but I want some of this to kind of like show so I'm just going to try something different I've seen something kind of like this done before you know with a dark suit and it came out like really nice and I wanted to give it a try Alright, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to seal it. And then I'll come back and I'll do the other color real quick, okay, before I go to bed. Alright, so next color real quick is going to be uh, a Nocturna Shadow. Right, this is from the Nocturna series. Um, very flesh that. Okay. Same thing, but not as pronounce all right you want to keep some of the color, that green color in here that lighter green just got the like a really dark greenish gray color to it it's gonna go into deeper shadows sorry about the noise it's a little warm up here got the fan on all right so let's do the arms while we're here going to be a little more targeted, you know what I mean? I still want to preserve some of that lighter green.
like that. So I'm glad I kind of did that before I went to bed. I can let this dry. Make sure I have a this paint dries really quick. I love this stuff. It's nice. I can handle it pretty quick, but gotta be careful. You got sweaty hands or anything like that, you know, you're gonna or greasy fingers. You're gonna you're gonna rip the paint right off the, the kit. Just be careful, be careful how you handle it. I don't like to handle them like that, but you know. All right, I think that's enough. I don't want to go too crazy. Hi kids, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, welcome back. Um, what I want to do real quick is throw a little bit of dark color back into this whole thing in certain areas. And the color that I'm using for that is petroleum gray. Uh, it's from Scale Color and it's available. I mean, you're gonna use a couple of colors from here, probably. The black and white paint set, okay? So, petroleum gray, it's got like a oily looking black, dark gray color to it. All right. I'm not gonna use a lot. I'm just going to return some of that dark color, but in Not such a not so black, you know, just in a grayish tone. trying to add a couple of interesting shadows and stuff like that to make it look because I want to go with the lighter colors on top and pretty soon and I think I just need to add a little darkness into this greenish tone what we got going on greenish bluish tone I think it's a lot better that way. Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna seal it. Be back. Alright, so the next color I'm gonna do is an overspray from the top just to pick up some highlights and kind of like give it a little weathering effect already is the rainy gray. Alright, same from the same set from the black and white set from uh, scale color. Alright. Nope. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Let me switch up. Oh, damn, I think I need to switch up airbrush. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Let's try it again. Rainy gray. I tried a different bottle. I had two, so.
So let this uh, dry and then we'll seal it. See how it comes out. All right. All right, so next uh, I want to do is give the scarf a little texture, okay? I uh, also have this little piece right here that I got to do. Oops, this one right here, all right? So, that one goes in the back, okay? So, what I want to do is give it a little texture. I'll start off with the rainy gray again. But this time, no, not dilute, undiluted. All right, and we're just gonna stipple. Do the other pieces of the scarf, and then I, when I come back, and then I'm going to seal it, and then when I come back, we'll do another color. Okay. All right. Next color I'm going with is tarn brown. All right. Tarn. Where's that? Focus at? That was highly annoying. Let's try that again. Tarn brown. Oh, the focus was off, it's messed up, so, so I apologize for that. I don't know what the hell was up. Alright, All right, so I'm going to stipple the tar brown onto the kit. So I'll do a little piece and then when I come back, uh, I'll seal it. When I come back, I'm going to do a spray over. All right, so I just masked it real quick. I wasn't going to do it, but I had to switch airbrushes and I can't do it that tight with this one. So, you know, the spray over. So. The color that I'm using, I'm sorry, is... Uh, yellow Rust from Panzer Aces by Yanko. Okay. So I'm going to do a little guy, then seal this stuff, and then see what it looks like. Well, let's see what it looks like. Alright. I think that looks really nice. I like the color. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... What I'm thinking about doing here... I got all this blue tech on here, but is um, gluing everything together except for the head and then weather all right but the glue needs to sit overnight okay that's where she's at right now all right, she's looking really pretty all right so I need to do the lips a little bit I want to do the lips and then gloss the eyes 
I still have to do that in her face. I haven't done it. Okay, that's where she stands right now. She's coming out really nice. All right. So when I come back, uh, we're going to start the weathering. And she should be glued by then. Uh, the two arms and the scarf in the back. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll grab some pastels and we'll weather her with pastels. Just throw some sand and, you know, dust and stuff like that. All right. Okay, so for the weathering, uh, let's get uh, broad brushes. A couple of them here. These are my pastels only. I'm going to keep them separate. So for the pan pastel, I got burnt sienna. Try to make tea spice with that. All right, and then um, I have from the Tamiya set. I have sand and light sand, and then I have mud. But I think the mud is just too dark. All right, so I'm gonna use stuff from here and try those out. And all right, and then maybe we'll throw a little bit of that um, burnt sienna from pan pastels all right so let's see how this stuff works all right I haven't really used this stuff in a very very long time so I don't know how I don't remember how well it went with this stuff so to be honest with you so so we're starting with off with this uh, sand let's right, so just go to the boots You'll see some of that green showing which is what I like most variations of colors that we put down this is looking really really nice I'm really happy the way it's coming out nice texture on the scarf all right guys so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna seal the first half that we did so this way I can grab from the other side and start doing the other side I don't want to lose I don't want to put my hand and lose all that work that we just did okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal this half let it wait till it dries now oh Now Gilbert from Red Dragon Model Works he did a little research on the pan pastels and um, he saw some people using it. I don't remember where he found it from but the guys that were using pan pastels they were spraying over with this stuff. Work will fix the tip. All right? Protects pencils and pastels chalk drawings. 
prevent smudging and wrinkling. Allows easy rework, acid free. Okay. This stuff works really, really good. And it doesn't it doesn't leave a glossy finish. Where the I was having a hard time with the bare stuff. I was leaving too much of a I had to go back and you know respray with uh with the dull coat dull coat excuse me all right so but when you do spray either one if you have the bear if you have this or if you have the uh the uv resistant clear stuff okay don't spray it from close in close by you want to give it a dusting from, from pretty far away all right you don't want to soak it you don't want to wet it too much all right, you just want to give it a light dusting where it gives it a coating, a sealant, all right, and it, it, and it still holds your pastels there. And that goes for the painting. Like you don't want to be right on top of it, all right. You want to be from pretty far away, just giving it a light dusting, all right. And you do it, and if you have to do it a couple times, you do that, but you let, let each coat dry in between, okay. You don't want to give it a like a soaking wet look because then you're going to lose everything that you did it doesn't matter if you use the pan pastels or any pastels all right and same thing with the painting goes when you paint because if you have a dull coat and you soak it and you go in too close it's going to give it's going to leave a shine all right most a lot of times even if it's a dull coat because you know, you're putting too much of the stuff on top at once you want to give it just a light dusting that's it all right just protect that one layer that you put in Alright, and if you want to do it again, you do it again. To give it more protection, you can go ahead and you do it again. But don't, don't go crazy like going real close, okay? That's the whole key in the thing, okay? Alright, so I'll be back. Let me go seal this, and we'll do the other side. I don't know, I'm not too crazy about the Tamiya. Uh, so I brought this out. I don't even know what color it is. Stay there, bro. Yellow ochre. Let's try that. Let's give it a little yellow ochre over. Alright, we're gonna spray that. We'll be back. Alright. Nice and dirty. Alright. So I'm gonna leave right there for now. And I'm gonna jump on to doing the base. Okay. That blue tag was a pain in the neck to get out, so but uh I got it out. Alright. So I was thinking about maybe stippling just 
different colors in there and throw mixing it up a little bit so I got Iraqi sand all right let's put some there I got a nice big stipple brush uh, a real shitty brush I thought I had, oh, here it is. It's a real gnarly looking one. There you go. Nice big gnarly beat up brush. That's what you want, alright? So, okay, so, uh, Iraqi sand. That's the. So that was Iraqi sand. So now I have desert yellow. Let's just throw a little bit of mix of everything in there, guys. What do you say? I'm going to use the yellow rust on the Vallejo. I think that's good. It's got a nice variation going. I don't want to go overkill, you know what I mean? So we're going to leave it there. I'm going to let this dry, seal it, and then retouch up the edges. And then that's it. I'm going to post it. Some pictures at the end where her head glued on. Okay. And I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, you know, help me promote this uh, channel and stuff. And um, I appreciate you guys. I hope you learned something. If you did, comment down below. Tell me if you liked it or whatever. You get comments. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Peace.